right, I've just arrived in the center of Stockholm. Um, down here is uh, Slussen. It's been rebuilt. It's very noisy. Um, there's the old town, uh, Gamestan, and there's Rudeholmen, which is um, going to be my focus today. I put something in the foreground, I'm not sure what, maybe a, a boat of some sort, uh, just to lead into the picture. So um, here's my motor transport. I have a trailer and uh, my bicycle. And um, I've got all my art gear in there and, um, and my camera gear. Okay, to the right of the screen there you can see um, a little boat uh, moving and um, that's going to be my foreground subject, some kind of working boat. Um, so um, yeah, so I'm going to start sketching here and then I put in the church spire first and then um, I'll block in the, um, the actual orange building and then later I will put in the, the boat in the foreground. I've completed the drawing and um, I got a little bit inventive there. I needed something in the foreground, so um, there's some working boats there. Uh, so I put one in, and then this there's a hard line here. Um, I can show you. Um, zoom up. So there's the um, you could say the the line of the key there, and this is too harsh for me. Um, I didn't know what to do. Um, it was just going to cut the picture in half. So I thought, okay, well I'll go for kind of a misty approach, kind of like a fog. And this is going to soften and then I'll have a kind of a strong shadows coming off the boat here in the water. And reflections, shadows type thing. And um, yeah, I think, I think that has potential. And also this, um, this building here, um, this, this building here is uh, quite orange, it's a big orange block. But also, that also was um, a problem because if it was just an orange block and an orange block, it would just be lots of, it was just too, too static. Anyway, there's the church. So there's a line here going like this down and then, yeah. So um, hopefully um, it'll, I can create a little interesting picture. A little painting, you'll see. Okay, so I'm going to get on with it now. I'm not talking much. Um, so a lot of things going on in the background. This could actually be a bit more tilted down. Is it okay? A flash. It's kind of a grey day, so I want to get that.
misty, so I'm, I'm mystical, you could say. I'm just gonna flop that in. Trying off my brush as I do that. Okay, I'm on a bit of um, movement of colors. So I'm doing this pretty quickly. Okay, my undercoat um, working here. So um, this is really uh, things happening here. So now I want to kind of make it more mysterious down here, and so. Um, Where's my light coming from? I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. Guess it'll we'll be there. Yeah. Light will be coming from here, over to there. It's kind of kind of experimenting here. Yeah, it's kind of an exciting first wash. This. Um, A bit darker down here. Next.
move the um, board up a little bit, let things flow downwards. We normally have a slight tilt. Okay, I think this has potential. I'm gonna turn off now and um, let this dry off a little bit. Okay, it started to rain. Uh, I was trying to let the, um, the painting dry. <laughs> now I've got it underneath my um, stuffy to um, to try and not get raindrops on it. Um, it um, is not good at the stage when it's drying. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna wait for that. Um, it's the halfway stage and. Um, so, yeah, I just have to hang around here and let it dry. The problem when it's uh, this, this amount of humidity around is um, things take a long time to dry, and, um, which is a negative. But um, we shall see, we shall see. Anyway, stay tuned and um, I'll be back soon. Okay, so I've been waiting for it to dry. Um, and um, so now I think it's um, time to get my stuff from under my tree. Um, and I'll get my painting back. And um, it might have even dried a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, I think um, this is dry enough to continue. So um, I'll do that now. So um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain again. Uh, some beautiful clouds though. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Um, really nice. I like that one. Mm. Anyway, so now some more uh, fine detail. I think I'll chill this up a bit more. Okay, you know some um, wetting a lot down here because I, I don't want the colours to stop and continue pulling them down. I'll use a bigger brush there because I'm just going to wet this down. It's going to be it's gonna rain. It's starting to rain again. such a pain. So, it's raining. Anyway, that's where I was. <laughs> den där flaggstången mitt på där, ska inte han vara med där? Ja, oh, men kanske jag gör den sen. <laughs> ja. Svårt att måla med akvarell. Det flyter liksom på... Ja, oh, den... Ja, oh, det regnar också, så det är inte så... Ja, precis. Så jag tror att det måste sluta faktiskt. <laughs> För nu kommer jag skåda akvarellen. Hopefully when I paint in a little uh, working boat there, it'll all come together. But um, this is proving really challenging at the moment. Um, 
um, well, this is the way it is when you're painting um, outdoors. It's, um, it's not always easy. Well, it's never easy. But, um, so, anyway. Okay, it's uh, six o'clock. I've been here uh, I'm waiting half an hour, and um, it's not letting up. There's just showers all the time. And um, so, um, I'm basically gonna take this and bring it home and um, finish it at home. I'd like to finish it here, but um, it's just not possible. So, um, we'll see. Um, like, yeah, I'll just go home and um, pack all my stuff up. And um, it's just this rain is just such a pain. So, um, so um, yeah, it's time to pack up and go home. Um, if you like what you've seen so far, just don't forget to, to give this video a like. It helps me a lot. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Then you won't miss a future episode. Okay, so I'll just get going. So, uh, so where do I go from yesterday? I um, basically. I'm going to do the windows and I, I like this um, faded out, even though it doesn't, it's not reality. Um, it's such a wet, miserable day yesterday. I thought, yeah, um, I think the clouds are okay. I could have had a little bit more form in them, maybe, and I think I'll just leave it. Um, some windows oh, and then focus on that. I won't do too much fussing around here in the, in the background because um, you don't want to distract. Darken it. Green. Gray down a bit. Okay, so basically I'm doing that. Brush. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that will have to do. Um, I would like it a little bit darker even here. I need to get a bit thicker in the brush. Good. So I'll let that dry. I will take away some excess here so I don't get down um, those cauliflower effects. That's when the, uh, the water works its way back up the page. And so we take that away. So, oops, I didn't realize I didn't have my uh, microphone on there, so um, 
Hopefully um, you picked up something. So anyway, I'm keeping the Taking away the excess water at the end here because I don't want it cauliflowering. So um, that's when the water works its way back up the pa paper. Okay, so that's good enough. And um, I think I'll now flatten the board a little bit. And with a little bit of quite a thicker pigment. Um, I'm going to put some um, some wavy things, and they'll spread quite a lot. That's okay. I'm going to be quite hard later with. Bigger in the foreground, if I can get it. Um, and I think that's enough. Okay, and this one seems to be not behaving itself. Hmm. Could be of interest. Don't like that. It's too detailed. Take it away. Okay. And uh, now it's time to tackle the boat, which is going to be the um, main focus. Um, so, yeah, so what's the plan of action? Basically, it's going to be lighter here and here, uh, some highlights, and then darker, and then lots of um, nice um, text, way, darkness here um, to, to make this pop out a bit more, a bit more. Um, Reflections in the water, etc., etc. I think I'll go for this brush, which is um, it's, a, it's a Da Vinci B mix, I think it's called. And uh, well, anyway, nice pointy, but a little bit firm. And um, yeah, okay, getting there. Don't like that blue there. Don't like that brown there. <sighs> you know, you kind of wish you don't do certain, certain things, but I it did. Okay, so taking shape. I might um, make 
it is stronger. They look a little bit hesitant, these, but the problem is I, this um, camera stand is right in the way of my hand movement. So I have to really think about that. I can't I have to go like this. So. So we're going to get better movement. It's like sticking a, something in front of a pianist when he's playing. It's, uh, something like that. Okay, I think I'm going to, I know already I'm going to have to fade these out. So, without further ado. Be careful not to smudge it too much. I'm going to try and lift this now. So. It's proving stubborn. Don't rub it. Just try and lift. Okay. Okay, so um, I think at this stage I will just play around with it and um, the fiddly bits, the 10%, which is very boring to record. So um, we'll turn it off now. Okay, that was fun. Um, I've only that little 10% left. Um, yeah, a little bit of fiddling with the windows and things just a bit of fine detailing. Um, I'll probably take this off and then um, I can make decisions after that when I see it in the, um, the white. Actually, a little tip is I actually have uh, a passport too um, that I've cut and that I use for um, framing, just to give me an idea. So, uh, so I get a better idea, basically, of um, how it'll look. And uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. Just needs a little signature there and um, a little, little bit of detail there. I want it to go like this. Okay, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to sponsor the making of these videos, you can by clicking the Patreon link below this video. Um, you could go in and check it out. It's, um, it's a really good way to um, help us creatives um, finance our little film projects, etc. here on YouTube. Okay, well, um, yeah, see you next time. Um, don't know where I'll be, don't know what I'm doing, but um, hopefully I'm traveling a bit. Okay, I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.